Hey everyone, welcome to Retrospective, where I search high and low for weird, eccentric, quirky, niche, and indie games to try out and show you guys and gals. So today we're looking at The Last Cargo. So evidently, top-down horror games are a thing now. Games such as what you're looking at now, The Last Cargo, Subterrain, Dark Woods, and even others that have come out and are now coming out take this aesthetic of being a top-down uh, horror game. So I want to take a little bit of time and let's just jump in here and get a fresh kind of raw experience from me and you get to see some gameplay. So one thing I noticed right away was there's these tick boxes to turn modes on and off. But it seems that their function is reversed. It seems if it seems like this means on and when it looks like it's filled up, it means that mode is off. So it could get confusing, maybe, especially if some tick boxes work correctly and others don't, but right away, like the music, it has a very interesting, like, 80s horror movie vibe, doesn't it? Like you're watching a really old uh, Halloween or Friday the 13th movie. So let's go ahead and begin. I, ma I imagine we're going to get some intro of some kind. So this is top down, so if you immediately don't recognize what you see, you're looking at a guy in a wheelchair. Go ahead, you're already in control. So I have WASD controls on, I believe. Alright, I'm clicking to advance. Is this me? Yes, this is you now. Where am I? As usual, wherever your consciousness is. I don't feel so good. It's natural in this place. This is a completely lost cargo. This is where your condition comes from. Fortunately, you decided to help him. How noble of you. I don't understand. What did I do? The person you are helping is almost completely helpless and requires special care. You tell me that I want to help someone? It would seem that way. So, so far very cryptic. Are you talking about someone specific? This is unclear. To learn, you must guide him through specific tasks, which will restore his autonomy. Oh, it seems like they're talking to us. The uh, player. A proper diagnosis. Diagnosis. Diagnoses? will be made on the last floor. Only then we will know his identity and his destiny. Will this elevator take me there? Yes, if you make it do so. What do I have to do then? Find the central unit of the cargo management system. Your protege has already received appropriate equipment. It will allow him for deeper stimulation of appropriate emotional impulses and the ability to recognize correct links to subsequent tasks. We are reaching the first level. Watch out for him. Alright, uh, press F1 to see game controls. So let's do that. Use, note, use notes in inventory or press tab to check the progress of your current task. Okay, so tab, I can check my task. F1 to see game controls. All right, we'll check out the game controls momentarily. All right, whoa, that's very small. Uh, WSD, WASD for movement, shift for fast movement, control for silent movement. Okay, so kind of uh, running and creeping. E interacts, that's, that's pretty standard in a lot of games. Um, F for the flashlight, that too. Uh, middle mouse button or Q will do pulse. I'm not sure what that is. Right mouse button aims 
left mouse button shoots and R reloads. Okay, well, let's see if we can keep that in mind. Alright, so the environment attracted me in the um, trailer to this on Steam. Okay. Alright, I'm hitting the, the D key to go right, and of course my guy is turning right. I have to imagine movement through his... Oh jeez, oh jeez. Whoa! So, this that's all we got so far. I mean, uh, movement is a little slow. Shift goes faster. I see, I see, a little faster. Did, does that hurt me? Is that hurting me? Visibility is... Whoa, what was that about? Okay, uh... Okay, alright, there we go. You just have to click. You don't have to hold the right mouse button. You just click it, and then to stop aiming, click the right mouse button again. So let's take a look at some controls here, since we've gotten slightly acquainted. Um, line of sight is interesting. There's, there's like a huge guy, like, whoops, hanging. Yeah, getting used to these controls will be a, take a little while. Let's check our health here. When they, I, I couldn't tell. I didn't notice. Let's see, let's check our inventory here. Can we? Okay, yes we can. While we're moving as well. Multi-purpose firearm, laser sight color, shotgun ammo, emit strong light, we have flares I guess, imploding ammo, creates a small paralyzing pulse. Uh, what is this? This looks to be a map, a radar of some kind here. What do we have here? Description and progress of the current task. There's nothing there. Tools and... Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh! Ooh, that was close. Alright, what's this? Tools and parts required for making, repairs, and crafting items. Okay, so we have to craft some stuff. A glass key, a very fragile key, which opens all doors and containers. Interesting. Processor, received randomly when eliminating explosive, destructive objects. And nothing there. What is this stuff? Lights up a small area. Emits a spotlight. That would be F. There's our flashlight, and it acts like we're aiming as well. Okay. And we can have the gun out at the same time. One thing to note here, we cannot move while we have our gun out. See, well, I'm rolling, rolling, get my gun out, bam. And I roll to a stop. So that is going to be major gameplay mechanic right there. That's... Pulse, ready, press, middle, or Q to use. Hmm. Let's check this. Oh, we can't go in here? Let's see what pulse does. Aha! Uh -huh, pulse breaks things. <laughs> like that door or glass, whatever it was. Interesting. What's over here? Close. Requires to use glass key. Yeah, where was that glass key at? How do we use this glass key? Aim, shoot, reload, pulse, flash, interaction, E. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Oh, ouch! That thing just came upon me and uh, self-destructed. 
I want to know how to open that. So the artwork seems really nice. No, back up. Hi, <laughs> see? I had my gun out. I'm not doing very well. Let's move on here. Oh, I'm out. I'm out. I'm out of ammo. I need to find things. What can I interact with here? Let's try this crate. Oh, look at this. It's empty? Shoot. Nothing in there? I guess it's empty. Water supply, more disc. Okay, this is... Healing herbs, bandage. All right, let's uh, let's move on here, so I can do some kind of mysterious pulse. So top down looks like it's going to be rather. Oh, I just reloaded. Let's, let's see, let's check this out. We're gonna have to test this out. I wonder if it, my flashlight has limited use maybe. All right, let's try to break into here. Pulse not charged. How long did it take? How do I charge it? Because... Can I blow this out then? Yes, I can. Okay. Wow, so those things explode. I don't want to be too close to them when that happens. Yeah, I'm getting hurt, I, I believe, here way too much. So this is not a, a huge uh, run and gun type game. This is more methodical, creep along. Let me try to interact. There we go. Hmm. Nothing in there but a bed. Some kind of an engine. Let's see if we can interact with that. Requires generator key. Hmm. I like have no idea what to do. I guess from the, the cryptic dialogue at the beginning, we're trying to move through floors. Okay, I was already here. Let's look over here. What, this is a very small space. I don't think I can get into here. Let's see if I can get stuck. Whoa, what is this? What, 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 what? What's all that goofy glowing business? Ah, uh, what is that? I can't do E to interact with it. I'm guessing I want to probably not use my gun all that much here. If I can help it. I'm guessing this might need a key as well. Yep. Right. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, that's my different kind of ammo. My flare ammo, burp. So, let's 
try this again. High explosive shells, flare ammo, that's what I'm using now. The pulse is at 100%. Oh man, I wasn't either too close or it didn't matter, it didn't do anything. So those are flares. Some kind of orb that's traveling around. Okay, 10, 11, 12. It recharges fairly fast, I guess. That's gonna limit things. That, that might cause a little. Did my flashlight run out? I think my flashlight battery died. So I'm a little. I feel a little lost. I feel like I'm just. Oh, there goes my phone. I feel like I'm a little lost here. <clears throat> uh, oh! So I can trigger them, I guess, to make them explode? I don't know. So far, I feel like it, the game is really interesting. I just feel a bit lost. So I feel like all I'm doing is, I don't know, trying to go into these different rooms right now just to see what happened. Pulse ready, okay. Oh, ouch! You see, it's very hard to build up steam to get away from them fast. What do we have in here? Oh, oh! So now they're saying connection. So it, I don't know, it feels like they're trying to make me feel like I, I as the player am, uh, you know, like he's a surrogate, like maybe like a clone or something. Well, I think that's, that's probably all I'll do for this look at this game, Last Cargo. Um, I'm, I'll have the price and link in the description below. It's interesting. I'll probably keep trying it out. I hear that as far as these top-down horror games go, that Subterrain is really good. It has pretty... I think it has better reviews. Plus, this game might be newer. The Last Cargo uh, is still, I think, a bit on the fresh side. But, uh, you know, it seems okay so far. But, but like I said, that's not, this isn't like a super deep, uh, look in, you know, into its guts, but just general gameplay. So, you know, if you have anything to tell me that I don't know what, you know, about, like I don't know what I'm doing, let me know in the comments. And, uh, you know, uh, I'll have uh, all the information there, and you can always check me out on zero-friction.com, which is a retro and indie gaming website where I and um, one other just post fun reviews and post uh, interesting content. It's not really like a mainstream media news site. It, it borderlines on being a fresh, unique blog. So, just to have fun with, but also presented in a somewhat professional manner. You can, uh, I'll probably put up a review there and, um, and continue my, uh, retro perspective. Even though this is an indie game, it's not retro, but I realize that there's some disconnect there. But, alright, so thanks for watching, and I will see everybody in the next video.